Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is matrix diagonal sum. So in this question, we're given a square matrix and we need to return the sum of elements present on the matrix diagonals. So every matrix has two diagonals, primary diagonal and the secondary diagonal. So the primary diagonal is the diagonal which is starting from top left to bottom right. And the secondary diagonal is the one which is starting from top right to bottom left. So now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. So I've taken two examples. This is example one and this is example two. Let us solve the example one first. So we have to find out the elements in the two diagonals, primary and secondary diagonal. So this is the primary diagonal and this is the secondary diagonal. So the sum of elements on the primary diagonal are is 15 and the sum of elements in the secondary diagonal is also 15. But the middle element is appearing twice, so we have to subtract it once. So the total sum is equal to 25, so we return 25 as the output. Now let's calculate the output for the second example. So this is the primary diagonal and this is the secondary diagonal. So the sum of elements in the primary diagonal are and the sum of elements in the secondary diagonal is and the total sum is equal to. So 68 will be returned as the output for second example. So here you can see the length of the array is an odd number so because there are three rows. And the length of the array is an even number because there are four rows. So whenever the length of the matrix is an odd number, we need to subtract the middle element once. And whenever the matrix length is even, there is no intersection between the two diagonals. So there is no need to subtract. So this is one check you have to perform after calculating the sum of the elements on the two diagonals. So how are you going to identify the elements on the primary diagonal? So here you can see row and column will be same on the primary diagonal. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and so on. And the secondary diagonal elements can be found out by length minus 1 minus i. So this will be the row number and the column number will going to be i. So this is going to give you the secondary column elements. So let's take a look at the code to implement the same steps. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input square matrix given to us which has equal number of rows and columns. Now let's find the length of the matrix. So here in this case, the length of the matrix is 3 and we are declaring output variable sum which is initially 0. Now let's iterate through the length of the matrix. I will be starting from 0. If you notice, as I've mentioned, the primary diagonal is going to have the same row number and the same column number. So in each iteration, we add one element at a time present at the primary diagonal starting from top left to bottom right. And in the second sum, we are going to add the elements on the secondary diagonal. Now if you notice, we have added the 5 two times, but it should only be considered 1. So this will happen only when the matrix length is an odd number. So that is why we are checking if the length of the matrix is an odd number. So then we have to remove the middle element from once from the sum. So the sum had two files removing the first file. So how are you doing it? You are accessing the middle element present at the length by two row and length by two column. So length is three, three by two is 1.5. So you consider one. So you access the element at one one for this example. The matrix of one one is five. So the sum which was initially having two fives, so one five will be removed. And outside the if statement, we return the sum because the return type is an integer. So we return the sum as the output. Now let's run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the matrix. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.